All right, getting ready to make uh, 200 of these bags right here, this size. Uh, it's a styrofoam cement mud. We're going to use it to insulate a spa that we're constructing in California on a pool with rock work and everything, and I'm going to show you videos of that. But uh, this one bag will cover 30 square foot at an inch, so I need 200 of them to, you know, we're going to have the spa dug, and then we're going to put this, shoot this on with a pump, and it'll be about four inches thick and um, it'll insulate the gunite spa from the ground being as it's made with styrofoam it's a great insulation so we're just going to take these 40 bags that we got here and we're going to make 200 of these and this is a little piece of uh, the styrofoam mud that's been mixed up and it's an inch thick and as i said one of these bags will cover 30 square feet at an inch thick so i just kind of knocked this on some I mean, it's tough. When you put it up against the dirt, it is something you can stand on and you can tie your rebar, you know, shell in there and, and get the grid in, the, in there and stand on this and work up against it. And it's like hard cement. Even though it's soft in the sense it's made with a styrene aggregate, uh, it's, uh, it's a very, very formidable material, but yet very insulative. So you can use polystyrene. We just buy this. It's regrind. It's a waste product. You can get it for next to nothing and or you can use perlite and or vermiculite they're all those two perlite and vermiculite are a, uh, a naturally mined aggregate lightweight aggregate which is insulative as well polystyrene in my area was just easier and less expensive to get so you check your area see what's available and you obviously want to choose the less cost materials so polystyrene regrind vermiculite or perlite those are the mixes and if you need some information on the formulations, get a hold of me. My contact information is in the description area below. And, uh, I've got a hopper up there, and that's what I usually put four of these bags will fit in that hopper, and then I dispense it into this six-gun shooter. This is a bag holder that I made, and it gets filled with a precise amount of foam. And we measure that, and I'm going to show you that. But this thing rolls so that we can roll it from here at this station, filling it with foam. And then we move it to the cement area and then the lime area. And if we had any other ingredients, we, we want this six gun to be mobile so that it can go around the shop to the different areas we're dispensing the material. And then we'll zip tie it with a rebar quick tie and load it on the trailer and take it with us to Tuscan, California is where we're actually doing a uh, pool job there and we'll show you that so stick with me we'll get it done all right people have asked me about these drums that uh, I custom made from a 55 gallon drum I wanted the diameter to fit the bag which I successfully did and then I could have made this to where it came around and I you know would rivet it together I wanted an airspace because when this thing gets full of all the materials and you go to try and pull it out, the bag is vacuumed in a way of speaking, it's, 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 there's a vacuum issue and you can't pull the bag out easily. With that slit in the, in the drum like this, you can pull it out effortlessly because the air sucks in and it lets the bag come out. So that's why I did that. And then this is just, you know, something I took a, a, a 55 gallon drum and just cut it to where I could screw it in. If you notice, there's screws all the way around down there. And that's what holds this thing nice and tight. And, and then the, the putting it on furniture dollies, I took a four foot piece of uh, plywood, four by four, and then just literally put it on two of the furniture dollies and it moves nicely. Even when it's loaded full weight, it's not a problem moving. So that's the lowdown on that. So I took all the bags of foam out of there and these are already made from last time I made some. So we're gonna fill both of these bays and I set these bags over here for right now because we're going to put them in the hopper so they're close at hand but I needed the space to store them here because we're we're about a month and a half out from actually going to uh, Tustin uh, California to do the spa job pool job rock job whatever you want to call it and uh, I'm going to store these here until we put it in the trailer and at that point then I'll be ready so we've got our our lime station as I like to call it this is where we're offloading, so this is a station to store, palletize, whatever you want to say. And then we've got our big load of Portland. So this is where we batch the Portland, the lime, and this is where we set the bags. We have the bag, putting the bag in, the, the, uh, you know, the bags are here, we put them in, 
and then we fill them with the foam and we roll them over cement and lime and then twist time and put them in there so that's where we're going to start tomorrow me and uh, josiah are going to get some bags made All right, so you've seen the whole process now, and uh, we're just going to get busy making 200 bags. Keep with us. All right, that's it. All right, so we're gonna go directly into the trailer now as opposed to putting them here we've got this stacked up but we're gonna start emptying it and put it in the trailer it's watertight so it should be fine well we've unloaded this so far and Josiah is still working on this but we've got quite a bit in the trailer I figure we can usually hold about 350 bags in this trailer but right now we're just going to have the 200 and we still have more cement here and more foam yet to mix so we got i think we got about another 75 bags to make we're just batching right now but the trailer came right now so we decided we were going to load it up we'll be back with you <laughs> 